Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I have a viewer question that came in that I want to make sure I answer because I think it's a really good question. I think there's going to be a lot of people asking the same questions. Right now, we have a lot of new people coming in the truck market. They want to tow, they want to do stuff. And uh, yeah, things can get kind of confusing. And I kind of created some of this confusion on this question. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what the question is. I'm going to go over some details. And we're going to see how much does payload affect towing because it does affect it. And people really don't know this. So it comes in and it says, good morning. Sorry to bother you again, but perhaps you can answer a question. First of all, please bother me. Tim at PickupTruckTalk.com. Send me emails. Email is probably the best way to get hold of me. And uh, send me your questions. I will get to them. I will answer each one. And uh, I will make videos of those that I think will help other people, like in this case. So he says, I recently purchased a 2019 F-150 rear-wheel drive Super Crew. So a two-wheel drive crew cab F-150 is how I read that. With a 315 rear gear axle ratio so that's the rear axle ratios and a five liter v8 engine so a good combination of truck five liter v8 with um some what we what i call highway gears is 315 as you move up in numbers you tend to get more towing so if you go like 373 410 you will get um it's kind of a better towing setup but this one should work out fine on the ford website it says the towing capacity is 9100 pounds so there's a chart, and I'll put it on the screen. You have to go through this chart and figure out what your truck can tow, looking at what your engine is, what your axle ratio is, what size of cab you have, that kind of stuff. He says, but from what I can see on the other videos, like mine, it actually comes down to payload of the vehicle. It does, it does make a difference. Since my payload is 1,961 pounds, and my gross vehicle rate, weight rating, GVWR, is 6,800 pounds, that means I could at most tow 13,073 pounds, which he figures is 1961 multiplied by 15 or divided by 0.15. I don't know what the math is. I'm not good at math, but that's what he, he has calculated in his mind. Without me in the vehicle, but Ford's site is saying 9,100 pounds, but again, this is limited to payload. Why is F-150 payload fleet saying 9,100 pounds? I'm guessing this is due to hard work correct. He says the numbers seem off to him. So... That's the question, and, and I read the question, I just thought, you know what, I can just feel the confusion from the question, and I can just feel like I helped create this confusion. So, my fault, sorry. Uh, but you know, I mean, this is a, a, there's a lot of terms of towing, and a lot of information to be learned, and so let's all kind of go on the journey here. Um, some people will scoff their heads because that's not what my dad told me, and other people will actually learn something. Even veteran truck guys can learn something in this video. So let's start with this. Let's, I have, right now I have my 2022 Toyota Tundra. I don't have a, a F-150 like he has, but I'm gonna use this truck as an example, and I'm gonna use the trailer behind me as an example to talk through these numbers. So let me get out here in snowy Nebraska, because it's winter and I always get these questions at the worst time of year. Why can't I get in the summer? You know me in the summer. All right, so what he's talking about first of all is payload. So payload is a sticker on the door jams has right here. So in my case, with this truck, I have 1,400 pounds of payload. Now he has 1961. You're going, oh my gosh, why has he got 500 pounds more of payload? Well, payload is a direct result of taking the curb weight against the gross vehicle weight rating. And if you add more options, you get less payload. I have a Panhard moonroof. I have uh, powered seats. You know, I have the off-road package. So I have less payload because I add those options. So this truck uh, with, for, with Toyota's website, I think it's 1,800 pounds of payload is what the advertised number is. The reality is real world payload is a lot different. So you gotta check your door jam of any vehicle you get. That's number one. Payload is important because payload is everything you put in the cabin. My butt, my kids, my wife, my uh, big gulp, my cell phone, anything in the bed, bags, cooler, generator, all that stuff is considered payload. And so then we have that number I just kind of spewed out there in a minute. And I said GVWR. What the hell is GVWR? GVWR is gross vehicle weight rating. Okay, so you'll see this online. People talk about GVW and they talk about GVWR. Let me explain what this is. So. GVR is right here. This is the second series. There's one sticker here. Let's look here. And you can see my GVWR is 7,230 pounds. The gross axle weight rating, uh, don't worry about that unless you're doing some heavy duty towing and some really uh, three quarter ton commercial kind of towing. But for most consumers, we just need to know GVWR. So here's the secret. The R stands for rating. So GVW and GVWR 
are the same except for the R is the max rating. So GVW is gross vehicle weight. GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating. See how that works? It's pretty simple. So gross vehicle weight means it's the maximum weight that the truck can handle, just the truck. So it's the maximum weight of the curb weight and the payload that the truck can handle. If you exceed that maximum weight, what you have a lot happens is you get some sag in the back, you get some sag up front, you put more strain on the brakes, the wheels, you put more strain on the drivetrain, the U-joints, transmission. You're putting a lot of more strain on the vehicle overall. So that's why we don't like to go above GVWR. Or in other words, don't overload your truck. A lot of people do because they just, well, it'll haul it, so just do it. Or the wheels will spin if you're just towing. Once they catch, you're good. It's not safe. It's not good for your truck. So GVWR, everything in the truck, right? Payload and curb weight. Now, how does this factor with towing? So let's come back over here. So I have this trailer I've been towing and I've been doing a bunch of towing videos coming up. Again, teaser, we're working on it. It's coming out soon. Um, what we need to know from this trailer though, is what is our GVWR of the trailer? So what is the gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer? And what's the GVWR of the truck? Cause we have another number here and then we're gonna talk about payload here in a second. So in this version, GVWR is 6,095 pounds, 6,395 pounds. Now this UVW, that's 4,338 pounds. In the camping world, that's called your dry weight and that's called your wet weight. So the idea is wet weight is fully loaded down. It's water, it's anything in your black um, pipes, your gray water, everything, uh, blankets, pillows, that's all considered wet weight. So that's the maximum weight this trailer with these axles, with these tires, and this setup can handle from manufacturer, okay? UVWR is just like the curb weight. So it's the base curb weight of that truck and base curb weight of this truck. So I always look at the GVWR because I want to make sure that I am under my max towing umbrella. In this case, if you look at that chart I showed you, in his Ford, his gross combined weight rating was 14,200 pounds. I think it was 142. My notes are 14.2. And what that is, is that's the gross combined weight of the truck, the payload, everything, and the camper with blankets and towels and water and everything. That's the gross combined weight. So you don't want to exceed that for both of them. Okay, so that's what that means. So those are your other towing terms. As far as payload and how it affects towing, it's right here with the tongue, okay? So what we're doing when we're towing is we're gonna transfer some of the weight from the camper to the truck. And the reason for that is because when we put the ball, when I put the hitch in with the ball and I put this down, I'm actually gonna put down force on this and adds weight to, to the truck. So we have to take that in consideration. There's two things to take in consideration with that. First of all, in the tongue, what we typically do is there's usually a sticker that says what the tongue weight is or online you find a sticker that says tongue weight is. If you don't know that, take 10% of your GVWR. So in this case, it's 639 pounds or so. So let's just say 640. 640 pounds would go against the truck's total payload. Okay, so I have 640 pounds against this truck's total payload. That's what happens in that case. You also can add in the weight of your hitch. So like my weight shipping hitch probably weighs about 50 pounds if I were to uh, measure it, all the bars and everything. So let's just round it off. Let's say I'm gonna add 700 pounds of payload against my truck's max payload when I add this camper to that truck. And so what does that mean? Well, if I come over here and I look at my payload sticker of 1,400 pounds, okay? So if my payload sticker is 1,400 pounds and I take 700 pounds against that, that leaves me 700 pounds for people in the cabin, my luggage, everything I wanna take. And so if I have let's say four adults, I'm gonna take that weight 200 pounds each, for example, I'm gonna be overloaded. I'm gonna be overloaded by 10 pounds. So some of you better go on some SimFast. Maybe me. But that's what that means. That's why payload impacts total towing because you subtract the payload number from the, the trailer. Now, so in his case, he has a max towing of 9,100 pounds. So if he gets a trailer that weighs 9,100 pounds, which by the way, it's hard, hard to find, but let's say he does, he'd have 910 pounds subtracted from his payload of 1,961 pounds. So he'd still have 
say a thousand pounds in the cabin to put people in cargo that kind of stuff so he should be all set for towing a camper bigger than this at the max range now the problem you may run into is the gross combined weight rating once he adds everything together is only 1420 pounds so that's going to be interesting to see what because his gvwr is 6800 pounds plus his towing weight's 9100 pounds and so if he maxed out the truck and the camper he'd be over his gross combined weight rating so you got to keep that number in mind as well in my case actually i couldn't even find the gross combined weight rating of the tundra so i put a there's a link uh, on the website pickuptrucktalk.com i have it all set up there where if you're looking for the tundra i have the information there and i'm gonna probably do more brands because it's confusing to find that data and i always look for it but the tundra's gross combined weight weight rating is 1700 pounds so even though i have less payload than his ford truck does i have a higher gross combined weight rating than his truck does and that's why folks towing can be pretty damn confusing <laughs> so, so when you're out there shopping around uh, i tell people all the time when you're buying a camper you're doing a trailer whatever first of all find the camper you like with the specs then find the truck don't buy the truck first normally then buy the camper unless you know really more details in the camper because that makes a big difference um, and this is why a lot of people have conversations about going through quarter ton versus half ton because the heavy duty trucks have more payload they're a stiffer frame they handle the weight better and that's why a lot of times when you get these half ton towing you may add airbags to defeat the sag i mean there's a lot a lot more variables into it but i just wanted to explain why payload impacts towing and like i said it's from that tongue and we got to figure out that weight that we're going to push the downforce and add to that truck so we make sure we're going to stay within specs so again email me at tim at pickuptrucktalk.com for more questions i love answering these things um i'll put more links over here i'm gonna do a couple more videos on towing there's been some more questions coming in again we have a whole new breed of customers coming in that are buying trucks first time towing first time i think it's fantastic but towing can be fairly confusing so there you go. For more, check the video out over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.